Yeah, I'm being employed in the research council for eight years. And uh, as you said, I'm working with the innovation projects, but I'm also working with the SFI applications, with infrastructure applications. And also I'm uh, NCP for Horizon 2020, the health program. So I've been asked to give a presentation about future funding opportunities in, let's say, 10 or 15 minutes. That is quite challenging because there are many opportunities. Um, for instance, I could start with the research council, uh, what we have, but I don't want to do that today. I think you know us pretty well. Instead, um, something happened. Shouldn't have been that same. Let's go back. I think I used it. I will focus on the Horizon 2020, the relevant calls and topics that are open now, and some other information as well. So last week we had a conference in Oslo. I wonder how many of you attended that conference. It was about artificial intelligence for better health and care in EU. Nobody? One? So you may recognize a few of my slides today. Um, this was a pitching and the partnering uh, conference where, where people were getting together from more than 20 countries, 150 people, to find partners to apply for uh, Horizon 2020. Uh, and we were lucky to have uh, Dr. Violeta Nueno from the Commission to present the health uh, topics that are now open for application. She had the presentation of more than 100 slides and I will not go through them in 10 minutes. Instead, I will um, I put I selected a few of the relevant topics that she have mentioned, and we will um, give out some handouts later on the full text of those slides if you want to look more into it. Um, so don't don't uh, I will go to not only go through the hundred. Everybody talks now about digital health. And uh, the aim is now to maximize the potential of digital solutions in order to empower health professionals, citizens, and to a better health and care in Europe. This is a data-driven innovations we are looking at. And people are talking about now disruptive technologies also entering the health world, like uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. And I have to admit that in the research council now, we see those terms in more than 50% of the applications coming up, whatever the topic is. So this is really going, being very disruptive in all fields of science and, and technology. And that's interesting. Um, the Horizon 2020 and the EU Commission, they have now set up some priorities for the last part of Horizon 2020 and as well Horizon Europe, which I will come back to. Uh, a sort of rule of the thumb is now that they want to see more, more, uh, more practical applications of all the technologies. And the first one is to turn data, data models into applications used by healthcare professionals. That's one of their priorities. A second is to bridge together efforts in related domains, like systems medicine, they mentioned specifically, uh, and also piloting predictive personalized medicine, and also to empower both health professionals and patients making use of the models, so they are not going to be only scientific anymore. They want to embark industry, have industry collaborations, and also engaged in regulators and considerations of the regulatory framework for medical devices and in silico clinical trials. And uh, last but not least, they need, we need to have trusted AI solutions. So really, they are really can, can tr trustworthy. So these are the priorities that is kind of a back background for the work programs that are now to come. Um, there is a strat own strategy on artificial intelligence. So, 
the role of the EU in this world is then, of course, to connecting Europe and accelerating innovation through collaboration. That's kind of the best word for EU. And they will do that uh, by supporting funding over for research and innovation, support data infrastructure, a legislative framework. And about funding for research, which, we are, which is a topic for today, you, you know, of course, the Horizon 2020. Then the, uh, you have a f f infrastructure program, CEF, then Horizon Europe is coming, and the Digital Europe program. I will just mention a little bit on these before I go to the topics. Of course, everybody of you know about Horizon Europe that is now coming up. It is a 94 billion euro program, which is probably is the largest in the world, not far from it. And uh, this program will start by 2021. Uh, this is the schedule. Uh, up until last summer, this summer, there has been a lot of interactions between the different countries. And uh, the Research Council in Norway, we have pl played in our suggestions to the program, and as well as the, the other countries. And right as we speak here now today, there is um, uh, Research and Innovation Days in uh, Brussels, where the, the lot of the act, act, establishment of the new commission, the com which will start the 1st of November, they will come in a new commission, are interacting with the participants and uh, hopefully they will sort of endorse the new strategic plan as soon as they are in operation. So the first drafting the first Europe, Europe, Horizon Europe program will start in 2020. So it has not started yet, so we don't know what they will look like. The only thing we know is the frameworks. We know there will be a, uh, some missions, for instance, a cancer mission, but we don't know what that cancer mission will have, will include, because that has not been decided yet. But it might be very relevant for us in the health area. And they are now just uh, assembled a board of this mission which will work together until uh, end of the year when, and then we can see what this mission cancer will, will include. And then the start of Horizon Europe, as I said, is 2020. We got a new kind of commissioner for innovation and youth and a lot of research uh, Consul has, uh, has complained, why is research sort of not included anymore in the title? It used to be research, innovation and youth when Carlos Moedas was heading this, but now it's only innovation and youth. But I think the research part will be there. So she will take over and be the boss of Horizon Europe from 1st of November this year. From Bulgaria, it's a kind of interesting person, I think. I mentioned the Digital Europe program, which is also a huge undertaking. And as you see, it will also start by 2021, uh, 9.2 billion euros in total, so like 10% of the horizon Europe, so it's significant. But here you see the topics are more gen generic, more kind of underpinning the more application topics in the health program, etc. But still, for you, those of you who are working on those, those are basic technology developments, this could be really a place to look in addition to Horizon Europe. But still, we are working with Horizon 2020. And uh, now the last calls on, on health topics, they are open. Well, the last ones actually opens up in November, but they are closed, all of them are open. And there are two important deadlines for those who want to uh, apply, and that is 13th of November for some of the topics, and it's 22nd of April for most of the topics. So still there is a half a year for those of you who want to look into these topics. I will mention some more topics now. I've picked out a few, six topics that I think could be of interest to you. 
Uh, I would mainly mention the title and what they are. Then, as I said, uh, the full text will be given out and you can look more into it. So one of the topics is personalized early risk prediction, prevention and intervention based on artificial intelligence and big data technologies. You see there is a 27 million euro set aside for this topic. It is RIA, it is a research and innovation actions. That means that both uh, universities and companies can participate at the same terms. And it's an SS, it's a single stage. I mean, there, there's no, not a two stage, it's a single stage. The application has to be made and filed by 22nd of April 2020. So that is the, one of the titles that could be interesting. Interesting. The second I've uh, selected is acceler accelerating the uptake of computer simulations for testing medicines and medical devices. And you see the same size, mil million euros, and the same deadline in April next year. Then there's a different uh, topic, which is coordination and support to better data and secure cross-border in infrastructure building on European capacities for genomics and personalized medicine. And I think there's a great need for some rules and some coordination between the different countries in this area. That's what's, why it's called a coordination and support action. It's only 4 million euro. Basic, it's basically a network that's going to be created with the representatives from different organizations and countries to really work out these uh, actions that, that, that needs to be coordinated with different countries. The deadline is already 13th of November, and I hope, some, I think some Norwegian applicants are really thinking of this also. The next one is uh, artificial intelligence for genomics and personalized medicine. Uh, again, this is the April deadline, uh, 30, 35 million euros, and it's a research and innovation action. So this, I think, uh, is a very important one, and I know from the conference we had last uh, week, it is a very popular one. A lot of the pitching uh, groups were looking at this uh, topic. Which I didn't mention, that typically the size of these um, projects that will be granted is around four, four to six million euro per project. So five, six, seven projects will be granted within each of these topics. And uh, another very popular one is artificial intelligence for health imaging. Again, the deadline is very short. It is 13th of November and it's a research and innovation action. Uh, again, this is a very popular topic we know already, so you should really, if you want to enter this one, you should really try to find a very good uh, consortium. I think that will be important to have a good consortium. And uh, the last one I picked here, the smart hospital of the future. Again, with a deadline in, uh, in uh, April. This is actually not included in the health program, but it is still it is in the industrial late program, but still it is in the same area. Um, we will put out a paper copy, and if you want a digital copy of this presentation, we heard you will get a sort of um, yeah, you can film it. Okay, very good. But even if you want to have the presentations, so just uh, ask us. These are kind of official presentation from the Euro European Commission, so they are not secret or anything. So just uh, send me an email or whatever video email, I can send it to you. And if you want to really go and look at the total uh, call document, you find, find it in the EC homepage, which is a thick uh, document uh, containing not only 2020, topics, but also 2018 and 2019 topics, which are outdated, actually. So that is the short introduction I plan to have, and maybe I'm a little ahead of schedule, but uh, I may discuss this with those who you are interested, and uh, we can, I will be here most of the day. So thank you for it.